The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sixth chapter, text number 47, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 12th of December, 1972, in Ahmedabad, India. We have been discussing Bhagavad Gita, the second chapter, the Lord has very elaborately explained the constitutional position of the living entity. And the whole first portion of the sixth chapter, the Bhagavad Gita is divided into three portions. The first six chapters, the second six chapters, and the third six chapters. Actually, just like this book, there are two hard covers, and in the middle there is the substance writing. So the first six chapters, they are just like two covering, karma yoga and jnana yoga. And the middle six chapters, well protected, that is bhakti yoga. So at the end of the first six chapters, Krishna concludes the yoga system. In the sixth chapter, he has explained the Sankha yoga system and the concluding portion of the Sankha yoga system is yoginam api sarvesam Madhagata antaratmana sadhyavan bhajati jumang sami yuktatamu. This is the conclusion of the yoga system. People generally, they are attracted by the yoga system. So, the yoga system means always thinking of Krishna. That is samādhi. So, five thousand years ago, when this yoga system was discussed between Krishna and Arjuna, Arjuna frankly admitted that this system was very difficult for him. He thought himself as a grihastha and a military man so concentration of the mind and sitting in a posture and looking on the point of the nose, so many system, find out a secluded place alone and observing so many rules and regulations, asandhan, dharana, pranayam. So he thought it difficult for him. Therefore, Krishna, in order to encourage him that although he could not practice the Ashtanga yoga system, still there was no cause of disappointment. He concluded, therefore, tapasibha diko yogi jnani ho api matodhika Yogi Yogi He insisted. So the conclusion is Yogi Namati Sarvesam Madgata Antaratmana Sadhyavan Bhajati Jomam Sami Jutsutamu. This is the conclusion. That of all yogis who is always thinking of me, Sadhyavan without being Sadhava. Sadha is the beginning of everything. Faith, Sadha, respect. If you have no respect for Krishna, if you have no faith in Krishna, there is no advancement of spiritual life or yoga life. That's what he said, Sadhava. Adho Sadhya, the beginning of spiritual life is 
श्रद्धा वेद आदो श्रद्धा आदो श्रद्धा तथो साधु संग हज कमल फेत एंड फेत हैज बीन डिस्क्राइब बाय कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी एज विश्वास सो ही एक्सप्लेन्स श्रद्धा शाब्दे विश्वास सुधीर निश्चय सुधीर निश्चय कृष्णे भक्ति कहले सर्व कर्म कृत दिस इज दि श्रद्धा श्रद्धा मीन्स फॉर्म फेथ एज कृष्ण से सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मामी कंग शरण बजे जानले स्वान हैज गॉट फेथ वाई ही वन शूड कॉन्सिडर हिम सेल्फ दैट आई मस्ट बी कंप्लीटली सरेंडर टू कृष्ण हाले स्वान हैज गॉट फेथ देर फॉर फेथ इज दी बिगिनिंग एंड टू क्रिएट फेथ Krishna has explained about himself in the whole Bhagavad Gita. So one who is fortunate after reading Bhagavad Gita thoroughly, he will have a strong faith in Krishna. If you have failed to have achieve this status of faith, then there is no question of progress. That is explained by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. श्रद्धा शब्दे विश्वास सुधीर निश्चय श्रद्धा में फॉर्म फेथ विथ कन्विक्शन यस इफ आई सरेंडर टू कृष्ण देन ऑल माय बिजनेस विल बी परफेक्ट ऑल माय स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ विल बी परफेक्ट दैट फॉर कृष्ण से श्रद्धावान भजते विथ श्रद्धा विथ फुल फेथ आदो श्रद्धा beginning is sadha if one has developed a little sadha just like we are giving chance throughout the whole world by this propaganda opening centers to create little sadha and if the sadha is there then next stage is sadhu sangha If one wants to become Krishna conscious, if he has developed a little faith in it, the next stage is to associate with sadhu. And who is sadhu? Sadhu, sadhava, sadhu bhushana, titik sabha, karuni ka, Sri da sarva bhutana. So sadhu means very tolerant. In another place, Sadhu is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Vajate maam ananna bhav Sadhu reyo samant. Api te sudura chara Vajate maam ananna bhav Sadhu reyo samant. In another place in the Bhagavad, the Sadhu is described. Titik sabha karuni ka Suhida sarva bhutana Ajata sattama shanta sadhava sadhu bhujana Sadhu The first qualification is he must be a staunch devotee of Krishna or God, whatever you say. That is sadhu. That is the basic. Thing. That religion means to abide by the orders of God. That is religion. And sadhu means who is staunchly a devotee of Krishna. These are the description of sadhu. Therefore, sadhu sangha means to associate with devotees, those who are devotees of Krishna. That is sadhu sangha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in another place said, "Sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva sastre koi, lavo matra sadhu sangha, sarva siddhi ha." Sadhu sangha is very important. If we can. Associate with real sadhu means real devotee, unadulterated devotee, annavilasita sunnam gyan karma ganabhita. Then the recommendation is that simply by associating with sadhu, all perfection will come. 
by simply association. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastri Kaur, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi. So this is very practical. We have got little experience how Sadhu Sangha is part. So Sadhu Sadhya Tato Sadhu Sangha. First thing is faith. Sadhu Sadhya Tato Sadhu Sangha. Tata Bhajala Kriya. Tata Anarthana Vittishyat. Tato Nishtha Tato Ruchi. Tata Sakti Tato Bhava. Sadhukanam Ayam Premna Padu Bhavi Bhavit Karma. These are the steps. Karma. Karma means one after another. So, how are this Krishna consciousness movement? is an attempt just to create little faith in Krishna. Then the person whom we are trying to help, his business is to associate with sadhu. Satam prasangad mama vidya sangvida ritkarna rasana katha satam prasangad. If we discuss Krishna consciousness, bodhantam parasparam, dusanticha ravanticha. Everywhere the same thing. So, the sraddha is required, then sadhu sangha, then bhajana kriya. If anyone actually seriously associate with sadhu, the next stage will be bhajana kriya. How to worship? Bhajana kriya. Tata anartha nivitisha. Then anartha. Anartha means unnecessary things. We have practiced so many unnecessary things in our life. That the unnecessary things, when they are too much strong, that becomes sinful life. Unnecessary. The modern civilization is simply meant for creating unnecessary necessities of life. So we are becoming deviated from God. The more we are advancing in so-called material civilization, we are more becoming far away from God. Therefore, Bhaktivana Thakur has sung, Jaravidyasa mayara vaibha Tomar bhajane bala. Jarobidya, the material education, they are simply paraphernalia of this illusory energy, mayar bhoiva. And the effect of this advancement of material civilization means stopping one's relationship with God. Jarobidya sa mayar bhoiva. Tobar bhajane bada. Anitta samsare. Anitta means this temporary life. Everyone, we are in this material world. Stay for fifty years, sixty years, hundred years. That is temporary. In the unlimited time, a duration of life, say of hundred years, that is nothing. Even not even a point. It is very temporary. But in the temporary life we are addicted to so many unnecessary things and we are forgetting our real business, how to go to home, back to home, back to God. Therefore, Bhaktivinoda Thakur laments. He was a great responsible government officer, magistrate, but a great devotee of the Lord. And he is one of the acharyas. So he writes about his own experience. The Jarabidya Sab Mayar Vaibhav Tomar Bhajane Bhada. The more we make advancement in the temporary materialistic comforts, the more we become implicated in unnecessary things, and they are all impediments for making progress in spiritual life. That is his opinion. And that's a fact. We have seen in Western countries 
they are still more materially advanced, but spiritually they are dull, blockheaded, spiritually. Very difficult to convince them spiritually. So sadhu sangha, by association of sadhu, one can achieve advancement in spiritual life. In all sastras, it is recommended that associate. Chanakya Pandi, the great politician, you know, he also says, Taja Dujjana Sangam Bhaja Sadhu Samadamam. Taja Dujjana Sangam. Give up association with bad elements. What are the bad elements? That is also explained by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. A devotee asks him, then what is what should be the behavior of a person who is spiritually inclined or Vaishnava? Spiritually inclined means Vaishnava. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that asa sanga tari Vaishnavacha. Those who are interested in spiritual life are to become a devotee. The first business is to give up the association of bad elements. Asat Sangha Tagi Vaishnavat. The one line. The next question is then who is Asat? Asat Astri Sangi Krishna Bhakta. He has described who is Asat. Stri Sangi. Stri Sangi means those who are unnecessarily addicted to women. Unnecessary. One should be married, one must have children. That is not illicit association. But otherwise, Krishna also says, dharma avuribdha kama smiyaham, kama, lust, sex life, which is not against religious principle, that I am, that kind of lust I am. So, according to religious system, People should not be cats and dogs or hogs in the matter of sex life. They must have regulated life. They must have married wife, married husband, and only for nice children they should unite. These are the description given by the Bhimsati Prakar, Dharma Shastra, Manushangita. Not otherwise. Therefore it is called Grihastha Ashram. Ashram. The Sannyas Ashram, Gyastha Ashram, Banaprasta Ashram, everything is Ashram. We can understand as soon as this word is used, Ashram, it means there is some spiritual taint or spiritual life. So, Grihastha, that is also spiritual life. One may live with wife and children and execute spiritual life, all the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are all grihastas. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself also was grihastha. So to become grihastha is not a disqualification. But to live as a grihastha according to the injunction of this ashtra, that is required. That is Krishna says, Dharma Abhuruddhakam, which is not against religious principle, that sort of last ayam. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Asata Sri Sangi, that means one who is not satisfied his religious life with wife, that kind, he is Asadhu. He is Asadhu. Krishna Sri Sangi and Krishna Abhakta. He summarizes the description of asadhu in two words. One who is too much addicted to sense enjoyment, and one who is not a devotee of Krishna. He is asadhu. So Krishna has also described that namāga duskitana mūrā prapadyante narādhāma. So there are many descriptions in many shastras that one should avoid 
asadhu and try to associate with sadhu. Then his life will be successful. Because human life is meant for spiritual advancement of life, not for advancement of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. That is cats and dogs' life. Human life means advancement of spiritual life. Tapo dibhaṁ putraka jena suddhe da sattā. We have to purify our existence. That people do not know what is impure existence and is pure existence. They do not know. There is no education. There is no science. Because we do not understand that we are living entities, we are part and parcel of God. God is eternal, so I am also eternal. God is always fresh, I am also fresh. Nitya Sasatayam Purana, although Krishna is the oldest person, Krishna is Adi Purush, he must be the oldest. Navajyavan. Addaita Achyati Anadi Ananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusha Navajyavan. This is Krishna's feature. He is the Adi Purush, the oldest. Aham Adi Hidhi Vadap. Krishna says, I am the origin of all the demigods, Brahma, Vishnu, Maestro. The Brahma Sangita supports it that Adyam Purana Purusha, Lord Brahma says, the Lord is Adyam, he is the origin. Krishna also says, Aham Sarvasa Prabhava Matta Sarvam Prabhata. The Vedanta says, Janmadi Jat Asya Jata. Janmadas Sajata, the Supreme Lord. So he is the oldest. And we being part and parcel, we are also the oldest. Nitya Nityanam, Chitana Sitanam, we are also Nitya. And Krishna is also Nitya. We are also living entity with knowledge. Krishna is also living entity with knowledge. Simply, he is our leader, he is the Supreme, that's all. So, we do not know how our existence has been polluted. That we do not know. We are just like cats and dogs. We are taking birth and dying without any knowledge. Bhutta, bhutta, praliyat. But this is not our position. Our position is as good as Krishna. Krishna is all-powerful, we are minute. He is vibhu, we are anu. That is the difference. Otherwise, qualitatively, we are all one. So, why you are under this obligation of taking birth and dying again? This is our impure existence. This is our impure existence. So this human form of life is meant for purifying this existential position. No more birth, no more death. As soon as there is birth, there is death. If there is no birth, there is no death. So this can be done simply by Krishna consciousness. Simply by developing Krishna consciousness. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Janma karma me divdam jujana Vibhvam, this very word is used, vibhvam. So we have to undergo austerities, penances for this vibhvam, for transcendental life. Tapo vibhvam, little tapasya. In the Kali Yuga, we cannot perform very severe. Krishna is very kind. He has given us different opportunities for elevating to our transcendental life in different ages. In this age, because we are so fallen and so limited and so badly associated, that it is very difficult to undergo severe austerities and penances. We cannot go into the forest, we cannot perform yoga systems very nicely, we cannot perform yogas 
we cannot worship the Lord in temple very nicely, so many difficulties. Therefore, Shastra has given us concession. Kalauta dhariki tanak. In this age, simply by chanting this Hare Krishna Mahavan, one can be alleviated. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has blessed. Yaha haite sarva siddhi haive toma. If you chant this Hare Krishna mantra, you will get all perfection. The all perfection. So, everything is there, but we do not wish to take advantage. Tapasya, human life is meant for tapasya. We know in our Indian history, all big, big kings, they went to the forest, tapasya. The king Bharat Maharaj, under whose name this planet is called Bharat Barsha, he left his kingdom, young wife, children, everything, at the age of twenty-four years. And he went for tapasya. So the Pandavas also, everyone, their last stage of life should be especially meant for tapasya. Not that up to the point of death we shall remain addicted to this worldly life, no. So this life is meant for purifying our existence. That means stop this cycle of birth and death. Janma mistu jarabhadi dukho doshanu darsana. We should always keep in front. We may think, we may be popped up as very much advanced in material comfort. But you may do so, but at the same time you should keep in front. Jarma mistu jarabhadi. You should always think the what advancement we have met. Have we stopped dying? Having stopped birth? There are so many contraceptive methods. But the population is increasing. The birth is going on. Similarly, we have discovered so many nice medicines that people are dying. You cannot stop this. Birth, death. They are trying to remain as young man, as young woman, but they are getting older. So, intelligent man should always keep in front that what advancement we have made. Simply struggling, a struggle, a heavy struggle, a hard struggle. That struggle, how we are thinking, this is advancement. We are struggling just like as the whole day and night you are working. Actually, I am working very hard, but I am thinking that I have advanced. Dharma mitsu jarabhadi. We are trying to find out so many medicines, so many humanitarian work. What is that? There is famine, there is struggle. Why don't you do something so that people will not be any more in famine, any more in distress? There will be no more scarcity of water. That is required. So these are the problems. So however we may solve all these problems, the problem of material existence, birth, death, old age and disease, that cannot be stopped. Either you become Brahma or something like that. That is not possible. That is possible only by Krishna consciousness. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Māmupeta kontiya dukhālayam asāsatam nāpnuvanti mahātmāna saṅsiddhīṁ paramāṅgata. Māmupeta kontiya dukhālayam asāsatam. This world is recommended by the creator of this world as dukhālayam asāsatam. It is the place for miseries and that also temporary. If you want to make compromise, all right, it may be miserable life. I will stay here. That also will not be allowed. You will be kicked out after some days. You may try to become very comfortable, good income, good bank balance, or nice wife, nice car, but one day it will come, you will be kicked out. Please get out. Finish. 
मृत्यु सर्वहरस्य हम कृष्ण से तदा मृत्यु आई चेक आव एवरीथिंग एट दैट टाइम फिनिश एवरीथिंग सो दिस इज आवर फूलिशनेस दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू बी हैप्पी इन ए प्लेस which is recommended by the creator himself dukhalayam masas dukhal this is called foolishness therefore bhaktivana thakur said anitya sansare mor we are already in a distressed place and we are increasing our distressed condition of life that means we are becoming more and more ash by the name of so called advancement of education जर विद्या सब मायार वैभव तुमार भजने मे ई बै एडभांसमेंट अफ सिविलइजेशन उइ फरगेट गॉड एंड फरगेट द मिशन अफ अवर लाइफ एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट टू बिकम लाइक एन एस अननेसेसरी वर्क द एस द एग्जाम्पल इज गिव द एस बिकॉज एस हेज नो सेंस यू वर्क वेरी हार्ड यू हेव गट एक्सपीरियंस द वॉश हर मैं एस इट इज लो डेड वेथ Three tons of cloth and takes it to the ghat and again brings it. And what is the result? He gets little grass. That's all. But he has no sense that this grass I can get anywhere. Where I am so working hard for this water, and therefore it is ash. I take four chapatis, but I am working so hard. There is no limit of my working. And one day. Krishna comes. Please get out. Finish. So we are all asses. Therefore, Kavidaj Goswami says, Krishna je bhaje sevaro chotu. Only intelligent man is he who is Krishna conscious. Other is all asses. Krishna je bhaje sevaro chotu. So that bhajan Krishna is teaching us. He is beginning. योग असिस्टेंट योगिनाम की सर्वेशा मतगत अंतरात्मना सिद्ध्यावान भजते जो मां समय युक्त करो ही फर्स्ट क्लास योगी सोशल डिस्कस फर्स्ट क्लास योगी फ्रॉम कुमार आगे थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ यू हैव कम इट इज सक्सेस This is success. You have come to Krishna consciousness. That is our success. Formally, you are not coming. Now you have come. So that is our success. Considerably impressed, Western Muslim materialistic countries by being a ritualistic country where India has forgotten the greatness of the Godhead. Because there is great propaganda to cut down by your leaders. They are naturally inclined. Anyone who takes bath in India, it is to be supposed that in his past life he was spiritual. Bharat bhumi te manusya janma hai lo ja. There is great opportunity for persons who are born in India for spiritual advancement. Unfortunately, by force, by propaganda, we are suppressing them. That is the cause. We are suppressing. Them. Otherwise, still we get experience. Hold this Hari Krishna festival in Calcutta, Bombay, and other places here also. Many thousands of people are coming because at heart there is Krishna consciousness, but by external forces they are being suppressed. That is going on. it is not natural it is unnatural natural is every india is krishna conscious that is natural by artificial means they are being suppressed this is the misfortune of the present day of india and is that in there is no in the educational system uh, no bhagavad gita you see how much unfortunate One Indian girl in Berkeley University, she asked me, "Sami ji, what is God?" Yes, she. She is Indian, where God takes birth 
रामचंद्र कृष्णा एंड सी इज नाउ मेटीरियल एडवांस नाउ सी इज आसिंग वॉट इज गॉन दिस इज आवर पोजिशन द लैंड वे गॉड्स काम फ्रॉम दैट लैंड एज एडवांस स्टूडेंट इज आस्किंग वॉट इज गॉड दिस इज आवर एडवांस अरे ऋषि Well, there is only one form, bhakti. There is no other form. It is not a particular. It is the only. Just like there are nine holes in your body, the only one hole will be used for eating, not other holes. If you push your foot down in other holes, it will be useless. Similarly, God is one, and to understand God, the only process is bhakti. That's all. There is no other process. How how a devotee has arrived to this particular form? This is in the shastra. God says, "Bhakta maam vijana ti." Only through devotion one can understand me. So now the devotee has discovered. God says, "This is the only way." If you want to know God, you must know Him by the process He recommends. Don't discover your own way. Not that jato mat tato par. You discover all rascal mat and God will be able. No. If you want to know God, then this is the only bhakta maam jaan, jawan jaschami tato. That is the only way. There is no other way. Chant. 